Hello children, in our last session we learned about parts of a flower, pollination and fruit formation. Today we will learn about structure of a seed and germination. Structure of a seed. Plants reproduce by producing seeds. Seeds grow into new plants. Parts of a seed are 1. Seed coat 2. Seed leaves and 3. Embryo Starting with seed coat The outermost layer of the seed is called a seed coat. It is a thin covering which protects the seed from drying. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which water enters the seed. Second, seed leaves. Inside the seed there are two cotyledons or seed leaves that store food for the baby plant or embryo growing inside. When the seed gets the right amount of air, water and warmth, it starts growing into a small plant called the seedling, embryo. The baby plant is also called embryo. It is present between the seed leaves. The embryo grows into a new plant after germination. Germination A seed contains a baby plant inside it. Once the seed gets the right amount of air, warmth and water, it starts growing into a new plant. The process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination. The basic steps for germination are first point the seed gets the right amount of air water and warmth second point water enters the seed through the hole present in the seed coat the seed coat breaks open and the root of the new plant emerges. Third point, soon the shoot of the baby plant starts growing. Food for the growth of the baby plant is provided by the seed leaves. Fourth point, the plant grows in size and new leaves start developing. Once the food stored in the seed leaves finishes, the leaves start making food through the process of photosynthesis. Fifth point, the new plant keeps growing as long as it gets air, water, light and fertile 
soil students there is very interesting homework first one a give two examples for each of the following one fruits with one seed two fruits with a few seeds three parts of a seed four ways of pollination and fifth is parts of a flower and second one is match the following i am sure you would love doing it let's have a fast recap of what we learned today uh, we learned about structure of seed in this we learned first about seed coat uh which protects the seed from harsh environment and from drying then we have seed leaves or cotyledons which store food for the baby plant and we have embryo which is the baby plant now this embryo grows into a new plant after germination then next we learned about germination now when seed gets proper conditions like sunlight moisture nu nutrition and temperature it starts growing into a new plant now this process is called germination now in this we learned five steps uh, first one was the the seed should get right environmental conditions to grow now second was after water enters the seed through the hole in the seed coat the seed coat breaks open and root emerges out of it third was after roots shoot comes out fourth point was new leaves start developing and these leaves start making food by photosynthesis and last point was the new plant keeps growing as long as it get air water light and fertile soil dear children so many new things you have learned till now don't get confused with continuous learning everything will be clear to you we will meet again in the next session till then bye